Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about shooting techniques in practice. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. If the sunlight is too harsh, which of the following you can use? Option A, key light. Option B, ring light. Option C, sheer curtains. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is C. If the natural sunlight is too harsh, you can use sheer curtains to diffuse it, creating softer illumination. Question number two. Which one of the following will provide better sound quality when recording a video with a smartphone? Option A, white sheets. Option B, deal it in camera microphone. Option C, electric appliances. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. There are many sources of background noise found in our environment. These are electric appliances, electronic devices or power sources, ringing phones or doorbells, street noise, and others. Question number three. What is ISO? Option A. The sensitivity of a camera sensor to light. Option B. The adjustment of colors. Option C. A built-in autofocus systems. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. ISO is the sensitivity of a camera sensor to light. A higher ISO makes the sensor more sensitive. You can record in low light conditions, but it can result in more digital noise. Question number four. What is camera aperture? Option A. The amount of time each frame is exposed to light. Option B. The opening of the camera lens through which light passes to the camera sensor. Option C, a properly focused camera lens. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. The camera aperture is the opening of the camera lens through which light passes to the camera sensor. It is measured in f-stops. Question number five. What is the depth of field? Option A, background light. Option B, a higher aperture settings. Option C, the area around a subject which is in focus. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Deep depth of field is when more of the scene is in focus, it is achieved by setting a higher camera aperture. Shallow depth of field means less of the area around your subject will be in focus. It is achieved by setting a lower camera aperture. Question number six. Which of the following is not a camera angle? Option A, Dutch angle. Option B, acute angle. Option C, worm's eye view. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer.
The correct answer is option B. Acute angle is a term in the Euclidean geometry, not in photography. The most commonly used camera angles are high angle, low angle, eye level, Dutch angle, bird's eye view, and worm's eye view. Question number seven. Which one of the camera movements refers to zoom? Option A, the focal length of the camera lens changes. Option B, the camera is held in the operator's hands. Option C, the camera moves horizontally. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option A. Zooming in means getting a closer look at the object. Zooming out captures a wider view of the scene, providing context and establishing the environment. The focal length of the camera lens changes, either magnifying or reducing the apparent size of the object. Question number eight. What is an aerial shot? Option A. This shot captures both the object and its settings. Option B. When most of the frame is filled with one particular detail. Option C. This shot provides a view of the environment of the scene. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. The aerial shot is very similar to the high-angle camera angle as it has the camera high above the object. This shot provides a view of the environment of the scene while making the object appear small. Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about audio recording in practice. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, you can try another one from the Video Teach project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.u. All the content of the Video Teach project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.